Hello viewers, it's February in New York and it's my birthday and we are here at Bar and Bar, a popular restaurant and we don't usually do reviews but we figure we'll try it so let's go check it out. Bar Bar is located on East 1st Street and Extra Place. Bar Bar, which translates to again and again, manages to find a balance between modernism and classical South Asian. The seating is both comfortable and spacious and caters to large groups. The decor includes this fresco painting of an Indian woman adorned with jewelry. It just grabs your attention upon entering. The menu includes an array of small plates and large plates, as well as kuljas and chutneys. At first glance, it's not your typical Indian restaurant menu. Creativity is key from chef Sujan Sarkar. The chicken 65 is the most popular item on the small plate menu, though the tandoor rabbit leg might be the most intriguing item on the menu. The menu is separated between vegetarian and non-vegetarian items, and the prices are average for New York City. When in doubt, butter chicken is always a go-to. The dessert includes sweets, but more impressive are the teas. I recommend the Sat Ras Masala Chai. First, we ordered the Kashmiri duck and apricot kulcha, which looks like this. It was soft and tart. The duck was minced and not overpowering. With a slight kick, this is pretty much non with extras. To try different things, we only ordered from the small plates menu. Next up is the tofu chili, which was very, very spicy, with hints of ginger and lemon. Though the spiciness overpowered the taste of the tofu, Make no mistake, this was still really good. Next up is the Lamb Kima Hydra Body, which is ground lamb in a potato mousse with green peas thrown in just for fun. This was one of our favorites in a generous portion size for a small plate. While it comes with two pieces of bread, we suggest you order a side of naan. Our next dish was the Kaolini Kaliwada. Now, I don't know what the menu says, but this is fried cauliflower with a hint of tandoori and a yogurt paste on the side. Think tempura, but it's light on flavor. Our last dish was the famous Chicken 65, which is similar to a dried chili chicken minus the chili. Full of flavor, it comes with a cucumber paste. Unfortunately, we waited too long to try this and it was cold by the time we tasted it, since all the dishes came out at the same time. And that leads me to my wrap up. First, as you can see, the small plates are generous in portion size. This was more than enough for my husband and I, but the small plates do all come out at the same time. For dinner, the restaurant is packed by 7 p.m., so make sure to book a reservation. Saturdays and Sundays, they feature a brunch special with a DJ and live performances. In my opinion, Bar Bar lives up to the hype and was a great place to celebrate my birthday. We recommend it if you're in New York looking for unique Indian food.